Ladies and gentlemen, Red Faction Guerrilla Remastered is out on Steam and is free to those who already own Red Faction Guerrilla. If you do not own Red Faction Guerrilla, you can buy Red Faction Guerrilla Remastered on Steam and it comes with also Red Faction Guerrilla. For some reason, not really sure why, but it does. This is a redo of Red Faction Guerrilla, which came out... I don't know when. I played it first on the Xbox 360, if that gives it any sort of a date range. Um, not a whole lot, actually, display settings-wise. I sort of expected a little bit more, given that this is sort of a remake, I believe, for just PC, but... Yeah, generally it's okay. Um, windowed, full screen, full screen, window, vertical sync, field of view can go up to 85. Given this is a third-person game, that's pretty high. I think I'm okay with 67, but once we get in, if this is too high or too low, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll do what I can and then advance. This is, it's not a whole lot. Maybe I'm just spoiled. I'm probably spoiled, <laughs> to be honest, but, uh, that's, that's what we are rocking. As far as I can tell, there's nothing for anti-aliasing. I tried forcing it. I was a bit lazy with trying, but, um, you know, I didn't open up like the profile inspector or anything crazy like that, but, uh, I don't know. It ain't too bad. If you don't know what this game is, um, you'll find out real quick, but in a nutshell, it is you're here as a demolition expert and the government's shit and you rebel against the government. That, in a nutshell, that's it. The gameplay is really awesome because it was the first game that I played that had really nice destructible environments and physics to it. It was a lot of fun trying to take out buildings in efficient ways with explosives in your sledgehammer. Uh, you'll, you'll see really quick. And we'll go with... Hard difficulty? I think we can probably pull off hard. I think we can manage hard. Why not? I remember it being really difficult toward the end of the game because of this weird gauntlet thing that you end up doing, but I think I can change it on the fly. So we'll try hard. This is it. I got your gear over there. So here's how it works. It'll be a couple of weeks before you... ...wait here. the site I was telling you about. It was a research outpost once, before the marauders killed the scientists. Marauders? You don't want to be caught out here after dark, but it's a good place to find salvage. I'm here to mine, not hunt for scrap. 
On Mars, scrap is like gold. Got your sledgehammer and charges? Good. Let's see what you can do. Shit. Up in the sky. EDF gunship. Didn't think they'd be out here today. I'll keep an eye on it. You get the sun. <laughs> Got the sun. <laughs> Got the sun is so bright. Destroy the lab and tower. I'm gonna kind of quickly go through the beginning of the game because while I can get scrapped this early, uh, uh, I mean, here you go. There's some salvage. It was a shiny thing. I'll try to get a better look at it for you a bit later. But it is just the stuff's just goddamned everywhere, and you use it to buy upgrades to make destruction a bit easier, allowing you to get scrapped faster. There you go. It's just like bars of steel or something. I don't know. You get the stuff everywhere. You need a lot of it too. But as you get upgrades, it gets a bit easier and easier and easier and more fun. I don't know how it'll be to watch, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. Can right click also. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a vertical swing. Right click. I remember that. The sledgehammer is actually surprisingly good. I remember being super effective on people. And Q for the weapon selection. And quickly Q to go to last. Oh, yeah. Remote charges. We have 18 total remote charges, and take down that big structure right there. Right there. Right now, you can set two charges before you detonate them. Remember, you can swap weapons and still use the detonator. Come back to me if you run out of charges. Okay, cool. You can see to the left of my, I guess, crosshair. The uh, I'm working on it, Dan. God damn it. Oh. What the hell is going on? Who's the girl? You know what's going on. Alec, the Red Faction could really use a guy like you. To do what? What are people doing out here? Whatever it takes. I'm not a terrorist, Dan. You think I am? The EDF are wiping out towns. Alec, we need help. Hey, you got me into enough trouble Earthside. I just want to do honest work here. That's what we're fighting for. If we don't resist, they'll take everything. Enough. You'll see I'm right about this. Right. As you probably already noticed, to the left of the crosshair, little squares that indicate how many I currently have out. I can only have two for now, but we can get upgrades later on that'll allow me to have a lot more. As well as, I think, also having more max charges. Nearby the building screen shaking, indicating that it's about to just fall from its own weight. So that's why it's it's kind of fun seeing how you can there we go. Most effectively take out a building. For now it sort of is what it is, but it's really satisfying when you get like, you know, ten charges you can put at once and you see it's just like where you can put them all and you strategically can place them and move some explosive barrels around and you just let the whole thing go and the entire building just it's just gone. It's so satisfying. I don't think I'll be able to do that very often because I'm kind of bad at that, but uh, eh, well, we'll see. I don't think I need to destroy uh, this might be what I'm after. Yeah, destroy the tower. Easy. And like I said, I could stay here and just collect all the scrap ever and destroy literally everything, but, uh... Well, let's just get a move on with it, I think. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe we take out the pipes real quick, because that's a fast one. Uh, ish. Come on, pipes. Oh, those don't destroy. Okay, fine. There's also guns that you can get that are really effective against people, but not so much buildings. And then there's weapons that you get that are effective against both people and buildings, but that'll be a bit. We need to hide. From what? I don't even know what happened.
Earth's defense force changed the face of Mars. They terraformed so we could breathe the air. They built bases, checkpoints, watchtowers. The Liberators soon became an occupying force. And now they killed my brother. Dan said they'd take everything. For me, they already have. Drop the weapon, now! <laughs> you guys afraid of a hammer? Drop it, smartass. Hey, what right have you got to trash Your my- Your brother is Daniel Mason. Yeah, he was. He's dead. This trailer and its contents have been confiscated by the Earth Defense Force. We're placing you under arrest. For what? Don't play dumb with me, Miner. You're Red Faction. Look, I just shipped here from- I guess you work fast. We found these detonators among your possessions. I'm a mining engineer. I have a permit for the- It just got revoked. Shoot him. I just want to make an honest living. Mason, my name is Simonia. I worked with your brother. <laughs> Lucky you. I know this is a lot to take in, but you're going to have to trust us. Why? Because you don't really have any other option. The commander thought you should have this field manual. It'll help you survive out here. The Gorilla Handbook contains the tutorial videos and other information useful to new Red Faction members. Welcome to the Red Faction. We'll start off with the basics. There are six populated sectors on Mars. Parker, Dust, Badlands, Oasis, the Free Fire Zone, and Eos. All of which are controlled by the Earth Defense Force. Our goal is to liberate all six sectors driving the EDF off the planet. There's only one problem. The EDF is a professional military organization. They've got the money, the training, and the firepower to take us down. Direct assaults are suicide. We need to hit their weak points, attack them when they least expect it, destroy high-value targets, and then get the hell out of there. If you ever need to hide from the EDF, restock ammo, or choose a different set of weapons for your field work, safe houses are set up throughout the world. Any available safe house will be marked on your map. Good luck. I just realized if we get captured with this gorilla handbook, we're so fucked. <laughs> we don't have access to the same supply lines as the EDF. We can steal their guns, but that's not enough. Sam is an engineer working for the Red Faction. She's come up with ways to improvise weapons from mining equipment and industrial tools, but she needs raw materials. That's where salvage comes in. When you destroy things, you'll often see salvage on the ground afterward. Collect it and bring it to Sam. The more salvage you supply her with, the better the equipment she'll be able to provide. Abandoned buildings are good sources of salvage, as are any of those high-tech EDF structures. Bring them down and bring the salvage to Sam. Right. At any time through escape. Oh. So that's that's in a nutshell the game. Um, interestingly, like as you unlock different weapons and stuff, your tactics sort of change and how you bring down buildings and ambush vehicles and such. But it is quite right in that the um, 
Just charging head first doesn't really work. You can get away with it on easy and a bit on normal, but on hard. For now, remember that 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 doesn't end well. Each sector contains missions, must be completed for liberation. Completing a mission also rewards you salvage. Right, and if I mm, was there map? The red oh god. We'll start off with the basics. Oh, oh, oh god. <clears throat> uh, I'm not really sure if I have a map right now. I thought I'd... Ah, tab. Okay. Ah, yes. I don't remember what the locks are, but this is their just general strength that goes down as we do missions and destroy stuff. There's a couple... We don't know what. Destruction targets here to take out. Uh, uh, about 10 each. And then I think these are just some objective, and then this is a main mission. Which we'll be grabbing to get a move on with. And I can destroy our safe house a bit, though there's no reason to. It's nice when you get a new weapon and you just want to try it out. <laughs> This is the upgrade table. Trade any salvage you've collected for weapon upgrades. She has an increase in remote charge count for 50 salvage. It allows me to place three at once. More general ammo for it. That costs 375. The arc welder sprays searing bolt of electricity to kill enemies on the ground and in vehicles. And a salvage collector pick up salvage while in a vehicle. And then there's a lot more than this later on, but I think the first thing that I'm going to do is increase the count so I can destroy more faster. You hear the news? We're terrorists now. <laughs> okay. And this is where we change weapons and reload. Yeah. Scroll through available weapons with up and down, press 2, 3, or 4 to assign it to a slot. The assault rifle we have, the sledgehammer we always have, and the remote charges we have. Right. There's no right click for like aiming down the sights, but okay. It's all starting to come back to me a bit. Mason, this is our former base of operations. We had to clear out before the EDF discovered it. Now we just need to cover our tracks. I know you're familiar with demolition, so maybe you can help us out. We need that building destroyed. Blow up anything that the EDF could trace back to us. Think you can handle it? What is with these sound effects, dude? This is like the loudest voice recording ever. Yeah, sure, I'll do it. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> this will be a piece of cake. We're transmitting the base coordinates now. Uh, the map. Right. Follow the arrow. Got it. Got it. I'm on my way. That's well, actually... That's very shiny. Hugo Davies. I go what? How'd you get caught up in this? The mining conglomerates found a huge ore deposit beneath our colony and tried to force us off the land. We resisted. The EDF rolled in. It was a massacre. I'm sorry. I found refugees from other colonies and our numbers grew. Your brother joined us soon after. There was always Dan's problem. Couldn't run from a fight. If there were more like him, we'd have a chance of winning this thing. Maybe. Okay, and real quick. Mouse sensitivity while driving. Uh... Generally... Is that what I'm after? Oh yeah, although let's bring it up to three, that, that's too low. Uh, that's still... Uh, this is weird mouse sensitivity. Oh, oh god, I'm making circles right now if you'd believe it. Oh, that's fucking awful. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll see if I get used to that. <laughs> God, these little things. 
<laughs> I remember. Oh, the F for Iron Sight, not right click. Well, I guess Iron Sight, you know what I mean, though. These fucking things are a laugh. Ow. They're adorable to see on the road if you're like, you're hauling ass through with a bigger vehicle and you smash into one of these guys. It's great to send them flying. Alright, I'm at the base. Good. Use whatever you can to bring her down. Loot! Well, ammo, basically. Ammo crates. Yep, we'll yep, yep. Fuel tanks behind. You can shoot them or set charges to blow them up. And these guys are a lot of fun. Just kind of space them around. However, do it somewhat intelligently. All right, alert level. Escape from the EDF to return the alert level to green. As it rises, they become more hostile. Cannot save progress if the alert level is orange or red. Is it actually, though? You said this was gonna be easy. Oh, I thought I grabbed that. Come here. It's a bit redundant having that there, but... Hmm. And throw some inside, too. Why not? Oh yeah, I see a couple flips on the radar. Mason, they're right on top of you. Take cover. You said this was gonna be easy. Okay. One more. I think they stopped coming at some point. Just throw the rest of these in real quick and we'll uh, get on with it. It doesn't need to be super 100% efficient or anything. But there are challenges that you do that you can find out in the world and it's like destroy this in like 15 seconds and it gives you a rocket launcher or something. That, that's quite fun to do, but you got to be really gentle about it sometimes. Because you only get a few shots off and uh, it's already time to go. Oh, we found a pistol. Alright. Let's see how we do. Close. There we go. Nice. Grab what I can. Barrels didn't blow up, and I saw a few more that I could have gotten. Okay, cool. And I'll grab their vehicles. Something else to note, the game is completely open world. I can go to one of those future zones at any time if I want. Most of them anyway. The final zone I can't get to because there's a free fire zone and they've got some... Some plot yeah, reason why I can't do it. You've done your brother proud. I can't give in to yeah, he had the same definition of easy as you. Like, I could head into the zone to the east and encounter those, uh, they're like marauder type things. 
And they got really good melee weapons. So I could head over there and grab one of those and then bring it back. And I think I just use a locker and it just becomes mine permanently or something. Something like that. I know you're angry, but we don't have the luxury of playing it safe. Your brother understood that. Mason, we need your help. There's new info in your guerrilla handbook that will be useful. In Earth News, the Ark Corporation's revenue is down another 26.6%. We'll need to find a new base of operations soon. Okay. We'll grab remote charge count increase. Hope this helps. And then Castle Hunter for the next. And I'll grab Savage Collector too, because why not? Never know. Won't stand a chance. Those drones won't stand a chance, not that we can pick up salvage while driving. Uh... More ammo. And let's see about one of these points of interest to destroy. Oh, get out of here, man. Destruction target, medium importance, a processing plant smokestack. It's like right in front of us. In fact, there's two of them. Must be those. Buildings marked in red are EDF owned. Destroying them drops EDF control of the sector. Buildings marked with icons hold higher amounts of control. Right. Because there's a bunch of stuff that's not on my map, too. It is all coming back to me. Really? Really? Alright, oh, the pipes don't destroy. Oh, please let me up there. I'm too lazy to go around. Oh, I have to go around. Don't mind me. Yeah, I need to have my mouse sensitivity a little bit here. This is... I don't like how it's different vertically and horizontally. And then there's sensitivity... Mouse sensitivity, this must be for like controls. Button controls, axis controls. Uh, uh, I'm not really sure. Figure it out. There's probably a um, probably a config file I can get up there. Probably a config file I can edit too. And I don't think I'm allowed here. So if the EDF sees me here, they'll uh, they'll raise alert. Charge. Stay. Stay. Come on, could you cooperate with me? <sighs> and because the alert level's a thing. Oh, hey. I remember those things. I think those give more salvage when you break them. Our deposits. Work the land. Our deposits can be destroyed to produce large amounts of salvage. Oh, yeah. for that to happen.
<laughs> oh shit. I get him? No. Okay. And the next one. If I can actually get over there. Might have to... Uh, uh, sort of... Oh. Shit. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> oh. This guy's really hurt on hard. There's somebody else back there in this building. I see him on the radar. Is he coming out? Yeah, here he comes. <laughs> Watch your stop. <laughs> Ow. How'd that happen? <laughs> Feel like there's more solid shit that I didn't get. Ow. Okay. We're orange alert now. I should probably go. Gorilla joined. A colonist has taken up arms and joined the red faction. As sector morale increases, more colonists will join you in a fight. Ah. I kind of remember that. I remember them not being very good, but they at least drew fire. Well done, lady. Well done. Is this building worth destroying? Probably not. Well, probably, but is it worth the time? I'm not sure. Oh, come on. I'll just slice through the pipe. <laughs> and this is just like ore collection containers or something. Ow. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I should be a little more careful.